It seems like this year most of us gonna spend Valentine's Day at home and therefore I thought it's gonna be a great idea to show you some German comfort food that you can enjoy with somebody you love on this particular day. As you probably know comfort food provides consolidation, a feeling of well-being and in many cases it is associated with a childhood and home cooking. In this video I will show you 10 of my favorite comfort foods and hopefully inspire you to cook something very nice also for yourself. So now without further ado, let's just start. The first dish that I would like to mention are the Allgäuer Käsespätzle with Zwiebel Rostbraten. Look at this cheese and this piece of meat. Carbs and fat. Oh yeah, this is comfort food for both of us. This delicious meal reminds me of the area that is called Allgäu, where we spend our summer holidays. Allgäu is located in the German Alps. Spätzle is actually a Swabian speciality. But here in Aigo, they serve it also with cheese, but not any kind of cheese. It's a mixture of Adam, Romadur and Beckkäse, which you can substitute probably with Gruyere. They've got extremely creamy texture and I usually served with the fried onions on the top. Zwiebelrosbraten can be made in many different ways. In this restaurant, we had it as a steak. Thin slice of beef filled with pickled cucumber, mustard, chopped onions, salt and pepper and then braised for several hours and served with potato dumplings, all spätzle and red cabbage. And now you know exactly that I am talking about the German beef rolls. In my family, Rouladen was a Sunday meal and because it was always served on this festive occasions, it is very special to me. In Matthias' family, they enjoyed Rouladen every Christmas because apparently his grandmother from the father's side made the best ones. German beef rolls are usually served either with Spätzle and red cabbage or potato dumplings and red cabbage. And of course, a lot of sauce. Next, we are moving to the dishes that you're probably not expecting to see in this video. And the first one of those is the chicken soup. Chicken soup is a soup that many people enjoy while being sick. But apparently eating chicken soup brings some people back to their childhood. And let's be honest, homemade chicken soup is truly delicious especially when it's served with those incredible egg noodles and the rich broth. Oh my goodness, how much this staple dish brings joy and comfort. In Matthias' family, each time the grandma was making a chicken soup, she has also used the broth to make another dish, which is just called in German Hühnerfrikasse, which is another stolen dish with a French name, but apparently first attested in England in the mid of the 16th century. Although the dish isn't really German, I felt obligated to mention it. The Oma version is pretty basic. She didn't even bother to add any vegetables to it. It is one of our favorite dishes after all. Another comfort food for us are the Mautaschen. And that's kind of weird because we don't come from Swabia. Here I'm not talking about any Mautaschen or the Mautaschen that you know uh, that are served in the soup. We both love Mautaschen that are prepared in the pan with different kinds of vegetables. If you are not familiar with the German cuisine, I just wanted to mention very briefly that the Mautaschen are Swabian dumplings that are filled with sausage meat, onion, bread roll, but also sometimes with cheese and spinach filling as a vegetarian version. There's also another favorite way of serving Mautaschen and uh, this one is baked in the oven and covered with a tomato sauce and cheese but this version obviously doesn't have to do anything with Germany. I am even getting hungry when looking at them right now. Another comfort food for many of us would be the beef goulash, which is the dish that is inspired by Hungarian cuisine and consists of beef meat, 
plenty of onion that are first fried separately, then braised and spiced with a paprika powder. Goulash can be served with various different side dishes like potato dumplings, but also egg noodles and spätzle. I know you were probably already wondering when am I going to mention the schnitzel and I bet that 90% of people in Germany would actually put schnitzel on the comfort food list. I wanted to show you a schnitzel variation that many of you probably don't know and this one is our Frankfurt schnitzel. Frankfurter schnitzel is served with beautifully fried potatoes and the one and only green sauce. And I think this is the dish that I love the most. The Frankfurt green sauce is made of seven different herbs that are grinded and then mixed with sour cream, hard-boiled eggs that are also grinded, lemon juice, sugar, salt and sometimes also pepper. And this is something what we are very proud of here in Frankfurt. When it's about the schnitzel, people in Germany also love enjoying it with a fried onions, gypsy sauce, cream sauce, hunter sauce or even cocktail sauce. And for those of you who don't remember, this is the traditional dish of the area just right next to the Bestesgaden. And of course you might guess that at this point I would love you to share with me your favorite comfort food. If there are many dishes, please list all of them. I am very curious what you're gonna say. Although Germany isn't well known for their pasta dishes, there is actually one comfort food meal that most of the Germans enjoyed when they were kids. And this one is called Schinkennudeln. The dish what I am talking about is made with cooked ham that some people also mix with a raw ham to give it more interesting kind of stronger taste but that's surely not the rule. The ham would be then cut in the smaller pieces and fried on butter served with the German egg noodles and eggs as well and there it is traditional German pasta dish that you have probably never heard of. For many German people also braten would belong to the comfort food and here we are not different. There are different kind of roasts here in Germany and therefore probably people from different regions are gonna consider different kind of roasts as a comfort food. On the screen right now you can see sour roast which is the beef roast and the most popular varieties of this dish are the Rheinische, Badische, Schwäbische, Fränkische, Sächsische, Dresdner, Westfalische and Thurgauer. And when talking about the roast, we cannot forget the pork roast uh, that is very popular in Bavaria. But you can also find it all over the country. Beef or pork roast I usually served with a different kind of dumplings. Mostly those are the potato or the bread dumpling. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I really hope that you're gonna let me know in the comments down below what is your comfort food and maybe also a story, what is associated with it. I enjoy reading all your stories. I am weird like that. So once again, I really hope that you like this video and are hungry for more because obviously more is coming and that's already next week. Stay safe and healthy and I see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.